talk a little bit about the aids that we can use to engage our horse in a shoulder in in the walk. And that's a little bit more of an advanced concept because you're actually going to think about your weight aids as well as your seat aids, also the lower leg, of course. And, you know, and your head actually has a big part of it in it too, where you're looking makes a difference to your horse. And so I'm going to try and break it down for you in little individual steps. And I want, to think, want you to think about setting yourself up on sort of a large rectangle in your arena. It doesn't matter really the size, just so that you have a little bit of a long side going straight on. And then you're going to go make a turn, maybe at R, the letters R, S, V, P can sometimes be helpful for this type of um, shorter distance exercise pattern. And so as I'm coming across here, I'm going to think that I'm going to have to displace my horse's shoulders inward a little bit. So I'm going to do that just here and I'm going to come to a stop. So this is a little bit of a steeper angle than I would like eventually, but we're not even talking about be pre being precise about three or four track shoulder ends, but just about what as a rider that we, what we want to do. So my weight will shift a little bit to the outside seat bone. That means I'm not going to lean or I'm not going to, you know, try and lean collapse in my left hip to try to put more weight over there, but I'm going to sit here and together with my right um, shoulder, I'm going to just gently sit a little bit to that outside seat bone. And the reason I'm going to do that is that the inside hind leg of the horse will have to take up more weight. In the walk, it's not that quite that crucial yet, but in the trot, when you have a sus sus uh, suspension phase and in the canter, of course, you know, it matters a lot where your weight is for the horse in order to stay balanced. So that's the first part. You're going to think, okay, I'm going to sit to the outside a little bit like that without collapsing, without making yourself crooked. And then you're going to use your inside leg, your left leg in this case, with little double bumps every time the inside shoulder, the horse's inside shoulder comes back. Your outside leg is a little bit farther back and doesn't do a whole lot. It just stays there to show the horse at what angle you want to uh, have him go up forward and sideways, right? So, and then in the beginning, again, to, sh to show the horse that you're meaning to go forward and sideways and not want to just stop and do one or two steps and then stop again. When, if you're staying too stationary with your seat, it's much harder for the horse to understand all these things just from your leg aid. So I like to go and take the horse a little bit into a shoulder to shoulder um, contact up here so that every time my, my inside leg goes on with those little double bumps, that's when my left shoulder goes back and then the right shoulder goes back. And not just that I'm massaging the corners of my horse's mouth, but I'm actually massaging his back when I do that. If you try that out even on a hard chair, you can feel when you're making yourself a cabinet up here and you hold your elbows pretty tightly to your sides and you're rotating, oscillating your shoulders a little bit this way, you will feel that your seat bones are making little rotating, little massaging movements. And the horse can feel that. And in the introduction to these lateral movements, it's a really important um, piece of the puzzle. And I'll show you just here in a mi minute here. So we're just going to go here. Now we've come to a st standstill, so he has to come back to knowing what I want. <laughs> but here is a little bit of what I'm talking about, right? So sitting to the right, left leg, left leg. Yeah, so this was just the beginning of it. I'm going to turn here, make a make a corner. It really at this point doesn't matter that you're sticking to a particular rectangle um, in terms of, you know, which letters you're using. I'm just going to turn here make a nice corner and then I'm going to pretend I'm going to ride onto the first part of like a 10 meter circle. Bring the horses in, horse's shoulder in and then sit to the outside, left leg, left leg, left leg, left leg, left leg and I have to you know engage and I can use my left um, whip a little bit as I'm doing this and again I'm doing this very slow for you so that you can see what happens. And I'll do it one more time on the next long side. And it's not right now about, again, you know, the perfect, beautiful 
shoulder in. It's I'm trying to demonstrate to you to make this process of sitting to the outside, inside shoulder back, left leg goes on and on and on. And I'm rotating my shoulders and there it is. And there it is. And there it is. And there it is. And there it is, right? So and all the while I'm doing all of these different things, I'm looking straight ahead. I'm not going to look in the direction that my horse's head is pointing, because otherwise, in terms of my weight distribution, that would mean for the horse that we want to go into that direction. And that would mean that we're actually going forward onto a little bit of a circular shape, like a 10 meter circle. But I'm going to say, no, I'm going to look straight ahead because by sitting to the outside and looking straight ahead, I'm going to anchor my horse's hind end to the track. It's almost like I have a little bit of a magnetic um, sort of weight aid there that keeps him on the track. And then most importantly, too, at the end, I don't know, it's a lot of different pieces. Before we, you know, stop, we're going to bring the horse's shoulders back in front of him. And in order to do that, you have to apply a little bit more knee pressure before you finish with your shoulder in. So here's, again, shoulder in. There you go. A little bit of this, a little bit of that. Looking straight ahead. There you go. So, and I'm just going to stop him here for a moment so that you can see. And then we're going to bring the front end. I take both my hands over to the outside, over in front of him. Oh. And that didn't look perfect right now, but the principle of it you could see. So I'm going to show it to you one more time on the next long side. So that, you know, the beginning of the shoulder in is just as important as the end of it. And I'll, I'll show it to you one more time here. We're going shoulder to shoulder, shoulder to shoulder. There you go. Very good. So little double bumps with my left leg. I look straight ahead. Weight is in my outside seat bone. And then I'm going to say to him, here, I'm going to take, yes, exactly, take you right back with your shoulders to the straight um, line that we're riding on right now. And then that's a good start for all of this. And then I'm going to give him a little bit of a long rein again, as usual. <laughs> job well done and nothing you know needs to be perfect in the beginning just try and add these pieces up gradually you know first perhaps um, practice the leg yielding down the long side on an angle and then you can come turn the horse the other way and we're not even talking about any particular way of you know having the horse bend and you know look a certain way just think to start out with this to keep your horse on a fairly straight angle so when you sit on on him or her you want to have the feeling that the horse is on a straight straight line in front of you and behind you if you don't feel that that might mean that the horse's shoulder is popping a little bit to the outside and that a lot of times that happens when people don't notice that they're actually using too much inside rein right and so one way of preventing that I'll show you one more thing here, is you can bridge your reins, right? And what that means is you're going to cross them over right here like this. And then you can first familiarize yourself with that feel a little bit. And you bring your horse into, it can be, you know, a little bit wider, or you can make him a little bit more narrow in between your hands. But you're basically having a circular connection from the horse's mouth to each side of your your hands and then that also reflects how again you use your shoulder to shoulder um, movements so I'm going to come across here I give with the outside in the corner yeah they all right coolie no reason to get nervous about anything <laughs> so we're going to come around here and ride onto the first part of a 10 meter circle with the inside shoulder, sit to the outside, and then I'm going to massage him to go forward and sideways, stay on my very well seated on my left seat bone, and there you go. And now 
I have no worry that I might pull too much on my inside rein because both of my hands are already anchored in this nice even rein construction. So just one more thing, right? <laughs> anyway, hope this is helpful to you. Play with these elements. Always think practice makes you better and nothing has to happen overnight. <laughs> and I hope you enjoy this video and 